Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Every Day Science, is all about trying to learn different concepts in learner science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on lead code regarding get the highest answer rate question using Pandas library of Python and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is medium and this question has been asked in Facebook interviews over the past couple of years. Also, if you are new to this channel, I have solved close to 200 easy, medium and hard difficulty questions using SQL. The link of the entire playlist will be in the description box below. And if you do not have Ditko premium subscription, do not worry. I'm going to share this Panda schema in the description box below as well. You can just copy into something like Jupyter Notebook and try it on your own as well. Okay, let's jump right in. The question reads, we are given a table called survey log with six different columns. ID, action, question ID, answer ID, Q, Q number and timestamp and these are the data types. This table may contain duplicate rows. Okay. Action is an enum category so it can take either so, answer or skipped values. Each row of this table indicates the user with ID is equal to ID has taken an action with the question, question ID at time, timestamp. Okay. If the action taken by the user is answer, then answer ID will contain the ID of that answer. Otherwise, it will be null. Question number is the numeral order of the question in the current session. Okay. So basically, it is, uh, you know, this table contains information about the questions and the uh, action taken by the person, right? And if there is an answer provided, it also contains an answer ID. If not, it will be null, right? And these are the question time and the time the action was taken. Okay. The answer rate for a question is the number of times a user answered the question by the number of times a user showed the question. Okay. Write a solution to report the question that has the highest answer rate. If multiple questions have the same maximum answer rate, report the question with the smallest question ID. Okay. Let's go through this example, right? So here we have uh, four different rows, right? And ID, action, question ID, answer ID, question number and timestamp, right? So for each question ID, we need to find the answer rate and the answer rate is defined as number of times answered divided by number of times shown. Okay. So for here, question ID 285, right? So we have one answered and one show. So one divided by one is basically 100%, right? Now for question ID 369, so there is no answer, right? So zero and there is one show. Right, so zero by one is zero percent. So obviously the question with the highest answer rate is 285, right? 285 and what is the answer rate? One, right? So that is what we have in the output. Okay, so basically what we need to do here is that firstly we need to group by this question ID and then calculate the answer rates, right? So let's start doing this, right? So let's start this with, uh, you know, uh, let me drag it here. Okay. So let's save this in a data frame called DF. What we are basically doing is we are taking the survey log, right? So survey log table and we are grouping by, right? So group by which column we are grouping by the question ID because for every question ID, we need to get the answer rate that then only we can compare, right? Which question has the highest answer rate. So group by question uh, ID, right? It should be on quotes. Okay. Question ID and uh, you know, there are two ways to reset index. So either you can do reset index at the end or you can simply go ahead and write as index is equal to false. Right. So, you know, you can do anything, you know, let's try doing something else. We keep doing reset index here. Let's do as index equal to false. Okay. So once we group by the question ID uh, and we are not keeping this question ID as an index, right? Then what we can do is we need to basically find the answer rate, right? Which is basically what? Total number of times a question was answered divided by the question number of times the question was sold, right? So what we can do is we can go ahead and use the dot aggregate, right? So dot aggregate method is basically where you can pass a function to a pandas data frame to do a, that, you know, to, to apply that function over all the rows, right? So what we can do is we can use, okay, dot aggregate and dot aggregate is such a robust function, right? So what you can do is you can, you know, pass the function and also whatever that function does, you can also, you know, provide the name of the column to enhance comprehensibility, right? So what I mean by that is, okay, so 
for example right so for example what we need to do is we need to take the action column right action column and use a lambda function to say that okay wherever your you know basically the sum of answers right divided by the sum of shows is equal to your answer rate right because we have already grouped by the question id so everything that we are now doing is for every question id right so what i'm saying is okay take the action you know take the action column because this is where you have show and answer right so take the action column and then what you do is you do a lambda function right so lambda right lambda x you know where x is such that x is such that x is equal to equal to answer right x is equal to equal to answer dot sum so what is basically this is doing so for every question id the number of times the question was answered right and then you divide this entire thing by so x is equal to equal to the number of times the question was shown and dot sum right so now you have this so basically what is this going to do okay so you take the action column and then you basically calculate the answer rate for every question id okay and then you can also say that okay whatever you do the calculations for and then you rename that column to let's say what do we say uh, answer rate so we can write answer rate is equal to right is equal to this entire thing okay let me go ahead and return this data frame right so we save this in a data frame called df let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we have right now here okay so if you look at it right so you have various question ids and the answer rates right so we cal just calculated right manually as well that for 285 there was one answer one so so 100 percent and 369 zero answer one show so zero so now you have this right now what we need to do is we need to report the question with the highest answer rate and if there is a tie in the answer rate then the question with the lowest question id should be reported so basically this is like very simple to do what we need to do is we need to sort values right so you sort values right by sort values by so firstly you need to do answer rate right by answer rate and then by question id answer and um, you know answer rate so ascending is equal to so answer rate should be decreasing because highest answer rate is what we need to get in the output right so false and then if there is a tie you need to return the question with the lowest question id so true right okay so return these values let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we have here right now okay basically this is now sorted right so now once we have this then what we need to do is we need to only keep the question with the highest answer rate so we can simply go ahead and do dot head one right because there is only one output that we can have right and then uh, in the output we need to have the name of the column as survey log so what we can do is we can simply go ahead and do rename and what do we want to rename columns and we need to change it from question id to survey log right so survey log okay i think this looks good let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we have here right now okay so now we have survey log uh, and answer rate of that but we do not require answer rate right so we only require survey log so we can pass is that okay we only require the survey log part okay let me go ahead and run this now let's see what do we have here okay so now this is accepted our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it to with pass all the test cases so this is accepted and this is how to do it so yeah somewhat tricky question and here we also got to learn about you know aggregate function but basically you know this is a really great way where you can you know apply a function to every row right here we are doing a group by initially so for every group we are applying this function so you can either use 
inbuilt functions or you can define functions as well so here we are basically using a lambda functions to calculate the answer rate and then we are renaming it back to the answer rate right and then what we did was simply sorted by answer rate in decreasing manner and if there is a tie question id in increasing manner and then we only kept the one row because that that is the only thing that we need in our output and we renamed the columns to whatever was required in the output so yeah, this is how we do it. Let me know if there is a better way or more efficient way you can think of to solve this question. Let the solution be in the comment section below and I will see you guys in the next video.